Hello everyone, today we're going to be walking you through the basic anatomy of Evernote and Evernote Notes and some features that you can use in your classroom starting today. The first thing that we really want to look at is basic anatomy of the Evernote interface as a whole. What you're going to end up seeing is that you have a number of options in the way that you organize your own notes. There is a shortcut menu that you can access as well as all of your combined notes including your business and personal notes then you will have your notebooks and notebook stacks it's where you can view all of the notebooks in your account. You can also organize things by tags if you would like. In this tutorial we're just going to be talking about the specific things that you can do in an individual Evernote note and how you can use those to help you prepare for your class. And so what I went ahead and did was create a set of example notebooks that we can use. This example stack, or set of example notebooks, is a group of notebooks that I use when I do all of my trainings. So I'm going to go ahead and select in example 5, where I've created five example notes as well. Now on each one of these notes, we're going to add something different so that you can see what those are, and then I'm going to create a table of contents notes so that you can quickly jump between any note in your stack. So we're going to go ahead and start with example note 1. When I click over here on the side, it will pull up all of the editing options that aren't there to start with. In this one, what I'm going to do is go ahead and just create a list of items. Um, you know, maybe these are assignments that you want to give to your kids. Or checklists that they would like to, to complete. Now, after they have entered a list of assignments, they can put in a horizontal rule and start typing their notes. Once you have added all of those things into your note, you can save it, and that becomes then just a standard note. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to note 2 as our second example. In this second example, I'm going to go ahead and create an audio note just by clicking the audio button at the top. If this is the first time that you've done that, it will ask you for the ability to access your microphone. Go ahead and grant that if you would like. What will happen now is when I hit the record button, it will record the audio very similar to the way that this movie is recording the audio. And then when I hit save, it will just import that audio directly into the note. Now if I share that with students, then all they have to do is press play within this note and it will play that audio file for them. Moving on to note example number three. When we look at number three, we've got a couple of options here. The one that I want to show you that is least commonly known is the snapshot. And what this is, is this is a way for you to take pictures right in front of you. So I'm going to snap a picture of myself and add that into this note right here. Well, now that I have a picture into my note, I can actually select it and have a number of things that I can edit. So for example, this button here is the annotation tool. So I can annotate just the image, or I can annotate an entire note if I would like, which is a great way to mark up students' work when they submit it to you. I'm going to go ahead and just annotate the image. And what this will do is let me add annotation markers and text wherever I would like to. I can also gray out specific areas. So if I didn't want you to see my face, or I wanted to crop, or do a variety of other things, I can within this. As soon as I hit the close button, it will save that into my note. Now moving on to example mode, note number four. Imagine this is again an assignment that you want to give to students, but you want it to actually pop up as a due date. What you can do is click this button here, which will add a reminder to that note. All they do is add the date, they set the date in the system, and they also set the time so that then Evernote will pop up reminders, letting them know that they need to work on that as well. Now, moving on to example note number five. In this one, I want to show you just a couple of features about sharing. If I wanted to share this note with any of my students, I can do it in any of these ways. The other option that I can do is actually pull up this note information pane. In here, I can change a bunch of things about this specific note. I can set its URL. I can do a wide range of things. 
But one of the things that I can do that is little known is this idea of the note history. What that will do is it will pull up the entire history of this note, which since it was created today, there aren't any versions of it. But every time you sync, it will store a copy of your note. And you can revert to those previous versions at any time from that window. Now, I can also present this note by clicking the presentation tool. What that will do is it will allow me to present and with the space bar move through. It also gives me a nice highlighter that I can use to present all of these notes to my class. Now that I have five notes in my system, I can actually select them all. And when I select them all, I can actually start a presentation on all of them at once. And so what this will do is it will let me very quickly move between the notes and my stack and display them all to my students very rapidly without needing to switch. I can also merge them all into one specific note, which then will give me dividers for every title and create just one note out of the five that I have. What I want to do though is create a table of contents note with all of these selected notes. What that will do is create note links of all of these notes in the notebook. Now, if you want it to display at the top of your notebook in an alphabetical sort, the easiest way to do that is by simply adding a star at the top. Then, when you sort your notebook by title, that will appear at the front of your notebook stack. Now, if I click on example note one in this link, for example, it will take me directly to example note one, and I can edit that from there. That is the basic anatomy of Evernote notes, and stay tuned for more video tutorials on the anatomy of Evernote notebooks, as well as other tutorials from the tech department. Thanks for watching.